Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to set a static IP address via the command line in Windows 11. So this will also work for Windows 10. So you probably know you could do so via the GUI, you know, from the uh, control panel network uh, connections. Just right click on it, properties, go to IPv4 or v6, depending on what you're using. You know, then type in the information like that. And then of course in, from the Windows 11 settings you get to the same type of thing here. But we're going to do it from the command line. So let's say you need to do it on a bunch of remote computers or virtual machines or something. You know, put it in a batch file or something like that. Uh, this way you can just take care of them all at once via the uh, command line. All right, so what you're going to need to know is the connection name. So Ethernet 0 is the name here. Same thing if you go to the settings under Network and Internet. you got Ethernet 0. And so the first thing you're going to want to do, type in the netsh command here to get into that mode. And you see you have the prompt that matches there. So what you want to do next is interface IP set address name equals the name of that connection we just saw, Ethernet 0, in quotes, and space static, and here's the IP address you want to assign statically, and the subnet mask, and the default gateway. So right now, if I do an IP config, of course I can't do it from within there, so let me get out. You see we have 192.168.13.137, and we want to make 13.200, and you know, we want to keep the uh, subnet mask and the gateway the same, so we're not going to change those, we're just changing the address. Let me go back into uh, NetSH here. So we're going to just copy this, paste it in here, press enter, and then you just go back to the prompt, it's not going to tell you if it worked or not. So now if we go back to control panel here, to the network settings, You can see it filled in the address there for us. And then if we do an IP config, you'll see we have our 13.200. So pretty simple to do, and you know, it's just a quick way to do a bunch at a time if you're going to be doing it that way. So I'll put this uh, in the description. You could just obviously edit it to match your network name and your IP address information and so on, and then take it from there. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.